Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to freeze panes in Microsoft Excel 2007. What does it mean to freeze a pane? Well, let me illustrate for you what this is designed to fix. I have in front of me this spreadsheet here that we've been using for illustration uh, that shows NFL data. And of course, across the top, we have the column headers that shows what specific category of statistic we're trying to show. And then down the side, we have the team for which those statistics are compiled. Now, if I were to scroll over to the right and start looking at other statistics, it can very easily and very quickly become disorienting to try to figure out exactly what data you're looking at. Because here, I can see that the number of penalties for this team was 83. But what team is that? Well, it's kind of hard to figure out because I know that they're in row seven, but I can't really remember what team was actually in row seven. So I have to scroll back over to the left and see that we're talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. And then if I want to see the penalties again, I have to scroll back over to the right. It can become very difficult to try to track a spreadsheet that, that bleeds over off the right-hand side of the page. Of course, this happens scrolling down the page as well. We have all the statistics, of the headers for the statistics up here. And as we scroll down the page, I can see that the Miami Dolphins had 81 um, something. I've forgotten exactly what it is that this column is supposed to represent because my column headers have scrolled off the top of the page. So just as we can scroll right and get ourselves into trouble because we can't see the index information on the left, we can scroll down and get ourselves into trouble because we can't see the descriptive information at the top. Luckily, there's a way for us to fix this by freezing the panes in place. Let me illustrate that for you here. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to just select this entire column. And when I do that, I'm then going to go over to the View tab here at the top, and I'm going to click on that tab. And under the View tab, you'll notice that there's a Window section. And under the Window section, there's an, a button here for Freeze Panes. I'm going to click that button, and I'm just going to select the first option, which is Freeze Panes. When I do that now, you'll notice that I get this thin black line that's directly to the left of my selection. Because I selected the entire column, that means that that thin black line will now always be between column B and column C, no matter how far down I go. But the key as to how this has changed the behavior is that when I go over to scroll right, you'll notice that everything to the left of this frozen pane stays. We've taken, we've taken these two columns and we've basically created a pane and we've frozen that pane. So that now you'll see no matter how far over I scroll to the right, I can always see that the stats we're looking at are in relation to these teams over here. Now we can do that going horizontally as well. Let me show you first of all, I'm going to remove this freezing of the, of the pane. So I'm going to select the same column. I'm going to click on freeze panes again. Now I have an option to unfreeze panes. So I'll do that. Now I'm going to select this row. When I select that row, I'm going to go back up again and click on Freeze Panes and select Freeze Panes. So now you can see I have that thin black line again. And as I scroll down the page, my teams might change, but I can always see my column headers. So I never lose sight of the column headers. And of course, there's a shorthand way to, to freeze the panes across the top and, across, and down the side as well. So I'm going to go here and unfreeze this. I'm going to select this row. Click on freeze panes and now I can unfreeze panes. And this time I'm just going to select this cell right here. I'm going to select that cell because now when I click on freeze panes, I'm going to again select freeze panes from here. Because I only selected one cell, what it did is it froze everything above this cell, which was row one, and it froze everything to the left of this cell which was column B. So I basically created two frozen panes in one move. Now when I scroll down, you can see these values stay. And when I scroll to the right, my team values stay. So I never lose my column headers, and I never lose sight of exactly which team it is that we're investigating. And if I want to remove that freezing of panes, I can go ahead and select this cell again and click on freeze panes. 
and go to unfreeze panes. And I'll show you as well that there's a couple other shortcut methods here for you because commonly if you have a table like this you often want to freeze the top row because the top row has your headers. So rather than having to come here and select this row and freeze the panes, you can be anywhere in the spreadsheet and just click on freeze panes and go to freeze top row. And now you can see that my top row is frozen. I can also always choose by default in a quick manner to freeze the first column. So I can go to freeze panes, freeze first column. Now you can see that in this case, that doesn't really do us a lot of good because we're really keying on the team name. And the team name was not listed in the first column. So knowing that we're rank one, two, three, four, etc., doesn't really help us much when we scroll over to the right, which is why normally, excuse me, with data like this, what you want to do is just unfreeze this and then again go back here and select the point at which you want it frozen in both directions and click freeze panes, freeze panes. And now the data is properly frozen so that you don't lose the key indexing data as you scroll across the page to the right or down the page. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.